Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to prevent form from opening multiple times. Here we have a form and I have the another form that is form 6. Okay, so I have coded that whenever I click on this login, this form 6 will be open. So just execute it. And here you can see this whenever I click on this login. So it's opening multiple times. But I, what I want is when I click on this, only one form needs to be open and it cannot be replicated. Okay, so how to do that? For that, we just need to write a few lines of code. And uh, just let me go to this form 8 coding part. This is the, uh, .cs, form 8.cs. And here, we, uh, here you can see this. Uh, I have generated a, I have created a object of this form 6 and here we uh, see that we have shown this um, form 6 okay so how to do that so that uh, we have to create a variable okay so public so, so that this variable can be accessed from outside this package um, static so that uh, the object creation is not necessary and variable type is end and i is equal to we name um, abc or restrict is equal to zero so we have a variable here and restrict is equal to zero and we need to check this if restrict is equal to is equal to zero then this code will run okay else it will pop a message that pop a message message box dot show that form is already opened Just save it and here you can see that now when the multiple form is still it will be opened and how to restrict that let me show you i'm just passing this value restrict here okay and when i enter into this this restrict will become i just increasing this restrict to by one if you are writing restrict plus plus that will it uh, restrict will be incremented by one and this is showing error because in form 6 there is no uh, parameterized constructor constructor so let's create a parameterized constructor so where we have this is a constructor and just copy it and paste it here and just create a variable and res okay so here just receive a variable uh, so now here you can see this now error has been resolved this restrict value is now assigned to a and we are assigning this a value to res so res is equal to a now this res is equal to a okay so now what we need is whenever we mm, close whenever we click on this uh, close button we need to reset this value so reset this value of a or you can say that reset it values to of restrict to zero and just go there and just click on this close and just say res or you can say this like uh, the value the value of sorry uh, I have done a mistake actually we don't need this parameterized constructor and even we don't need this value okay actually we need this value but uh, we don't have to pass this okay so just remove it and I will show you how actually it works and just remove this too 
um, just sorry. Okay, so here we go. Now we need to do this. That here you can see now it will execute only one time. Okay, here you can see. Now if we are going to click on this file is already open, but the problem is when it, we close this, we even can't open it. Form is already open. It was showing why this is happening because when I first open it, it will increase the value of restrict to one. But there, uh, when we are closing it, with the value is still one, so that uh, it's still still going to else uh, condition. So just reset that value. Just go to this form six and this close button and go there. And you just need to write form 8. My name form name is 8. And as I have told you that the variable I have created is public and static. So a static variable can be accessed by the form name and it's public so it can be accessible outside this uh, CS. And so just need to write this restrict and just assign the value 0. And whenever we start this, now it will perfectly open one the one. Just open, and whenever you click, form is already open. And when you close it, we can obviously open it for the next time. And this will not work if you close this from here. So it's still so the form is already open. To resolve this issue, you need to disable. Let me just show you. You need to disable this control. So, how to uh, disable this control? You just need to write your lines of code here. Just um, control box. Control box is equal to false. And just save it and secure it. And here you can see this. There is no control box. And now you uh, the uh, user is compulsory needs to click on this to close this form okay here you can see and you can't even open the second form okay so thanks for watching that's it for the today's video and please like subscribe and share with your friend friends and don't forget to press the bell icon and if you want to see more videos just go to my uh, channel and check out my playlist thanks